Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So I am creating another art journal page in my Donna Weekly Media Journal um, using the Donna Weekly Collage Collection. It's where those uh, figures came from. And then I have just a store tag and a quote from my stash. And I'm using Donna Weekly um, acrylic paints. And then here's a different one that's also Donna Weekly acrylic paint in a different color that I wanted to use on the page that's green because I have green in you know the guys um, or the figures that I'm going to put on this page so I'm putting some paint down and I'm just smushing it around um, no real rhyme or reason I just wanted to kind of get some paint on the page and I kind of put a little bit too much blue on there but that's okay I end up you know covering up some of that and uh Plus, I ended up covering up more of the green than I wanted to, so I had to go back and, you know, add some more green back in. And then I add some pink, which, of course, mixed with the blue, turned into purple, which I was fine with. And so I'm just smushing that around. And um, I'm trying to somewhat get everything to blend together. And I wanted to add a little bit of orange, because there was some orange in these... Uh, figures and that mixed with um, some of the other colors and gave me a little bit of green which also um, the darker green is in some of the figures um, you'll see so yeah I'm just trying to get some color down on this page and um, get everything to somewhat blend together and here's why I went back in to add some of that uh, lighter green back in there because um, it seemed like I kind of lost some of that so yeah getting that in there and then just trying to blend everything together and you know using your finger helps to blend things together as well so I'm just using my finger to try to smooth everything out and to get it to blend together. And then once I got that down, I just dried it briefly because um, when I go back over the baby wipe, I didn't want it to <clears throat> um, take up all of the paint. But you could see, like especially in the upper right hand corner, it took up more than I wanted to wanted it to. So I did go back over that a little bit. Um, you'll see here in a minute but yeah here I'm just trying to take up some of the paint just to kind of give the background you know a little bit of of um, pattern in there so it's you know has a little bit of interest so since that upper right hand corner I kind of lost the paint the color I went back in and added that back in there and then to go back over it again and not take up so much of the paint and you couldn't hardly tell so I just like whatever I'll just leave it <laughs> so I dried everything and then I have my figures here that I want to put on the page so then I end up using um, a permanent glue stick to put these down I always like to use permanent glue stick because you know I want everything to stay down I don't want anything to come back up after I put it down and so I'm putting them down but I kind of wanted them to lean in towards each other so I'm kind of tilting the one a little bit in and so that they kind of lean in towards each other again these are um, this art journal page is uh, for the I am grateful for challenge but it's from November I'm a little behind um, that Dinah Weekly is doing and this one is I am grateful for friends so I thought this was appropriate so I have this store tag and I have this quote from my stash and the quote says everyone has a gift even if it's the gift of being a good friend and that is from Marion Anderson so I thought that quote was appropriate for this page and I decided to cover the numbers up on the bottom of the tag with a little bit of Dinah Weekly washi tape with these little hearts which I thought was appropriate and really cute so I ended up putting that on the bottom of the tag there and then um, I ended up using um, some 
Elmer's glue dots to put the tag down, but those glue dots stick more to the backing that they're on than to your project. I've have had issues with these, and so you'll see when I put it on the back and pull it up, it rips the back off of, <laughs> it was tearing the back um, layers of the back of the tag off, so I have to put them on and then try to, yeah, there again it ripped it, uh, try to pull the glue dot off the backing, so those things are super strong, and once you, you know, use them to put stuff on your page, it's not coming up. <laughs> So, I mean, that's the good thing. That's why I like to use them, but they're a little frustrating when it's tearing up on, you know, your project. And so then I decided I needed to add, I need to add something else to this page. So I got this washi tape. I'm not sure. I think it might be Tim Holtz. I'm not exactly sure um, what washi tape it is. But I put that along the bottom. Um, I thought that it was cute, and it kind of matched my tag to you know, light green. It was a little crooked, so I tried to get it back up, but it wasn't going to come back up. It was it was stuck down. <laughs> and then I put a little bit on the other side to make it look like it was going across. So that's pretty much the art journal page for today. If you like this, you can give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Or you could subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday. And disclaimer, I am not associated with any of these, um, companies or products. So thank you guys for stopping by and watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.